Hello dear viewers, welcome back to Psycosis. So today in this video, I'll be teaching you all how to configure rental product as well as rental period. As you know, rental product and rental period both are inevitable part of this rental orders. So in order to create a rental order, we need these products as well as periods. So we are configuring it separately, that is as a discrete window, and then we are using it inside a rental order. So I'm not confusing you guys, let's move on to the video and see how to configure rental product as well as rental period. So now let's see how to configure rental products as well as rental periods and how to use it inside a rental order. So for that first, let's open the rental module and here you have the product section. Now under the products, you can see all the rental products because it's uh, by default in a filter called can be rented. So I'll show you how to create a new rental product. The only thing which you have to do, that is only thing which makes this product a rental product is that this checkbox. Okay, here you have an option called can be rented. So once you check it, what happens is that the product which you are creating will become a rental product. So I'll create a product called car and I'm starting it. And all other things such as the general information, the attributes and variants, sales, inventory, accounting and all is very similar to the ones which we've seen in the other product creation. There's a new uh, tab which is called rental prices. Open that and here is the place where you configure the price of the rental product. So here you can see the reservations that is once you take an extra hour, you have to pay this much and how much an extra day charges. Okay, so that's seen here. Then you have the security time. So you have to specify how many hours before or before orders, uh, you know, this, I mean, the picking up and the returning and all should be done. Okay. So you can see temporarily make this product unavailable before picking. So you have to specify a time. Okay. So I'm putting one hour and then you have the period, the price list and the price. So here is the place where you specify the period, the rental period. So I'll do one thing. I'll just save this product and let it be there. Our product name is car. Now let's go to configuration. There we have rental periods. Now let's configure rental periods over there. So rental periods is simply setting a period that is a duration. Okay. It can be a day, a two day, three day, whatever it is. So I'll show you how to configure a rental period. For that, I've clicked new and here you have the name of the period. So I'm putting it as weekly. Or simply, you can give any name, okay? So I'll put new period. And the duration can be given here. So I'm putting five. Okay, five days. So this is a period which I've set for five days. Now, if you're looking for a renting, I mean, if you're looking rental for five days, if you want to rent a product for five days, means you can use this period, okay? So I've created a new rental period called new period. Now, if you go to the products, here we have the product which we created, which is car and open it. You have the rental prices over here. So going to add a period. So our period is the new period which we created right now. And if you want to add any price list for this period, you can do that. And the price can be specified over here. So I'm setting this price as 100. So that will be the price for this period. That is for five days, this will be the price. Okay. So that's how you add a period to a product okay you can add other products as well i mean other periods as well based on what the you know customers preferring to you can uh, use it okay so i've saved it now let's go to rental order and create a new rental order okay so let the customer be wood corner and here i'm adding the product so which product are we going to add car okay this is the product which we created right now and here you can see the rental time, okay? So the car rental, the description and all is given, the quantity is given, all those things are given there, okay? Now here you can choose the rental period. So by default, it is one, it is for a single day. If I'm choosing 21 to 25, okay? You can see the rental period is four days. One more day we'll add. So that will be five days. Okay, so you can see for the duration is five days, which we have given. And if you want to update the rental prices means, okay, based on the new period, the prices will be updated. Okay, so that's how you add the rental period and rental product inside a rental order. Okay, so we've seen how to configure a rental product, how to configure a rental period and 
how to implement it inside a rental order. So that's how you configure the rental products and rental periods. I hope it's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.